Hello everyone, my name is Oquandia. I'm the Solutions Engineer at Electronique. Today I'm going to be taking you guys on a journey with me into building a robotic process that's going to incorporate some of my daily do's that I do to get started. So normally when I come in and I start my day, the first thing that I want to do is open up my Spotify, throw on some of my Les Brown to get motivated, and then I go ahead and open up my LinkedIn. Just check if anything has been new coming from our company or just any other client that we may have. So I like to stay up to date on that. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to create a robotic process to mimic that actual workflow. Parts of this video will be me showing you how I manually go in and create this process. So starting with some of the activities that I'll be using, I'm going to be using some of my web automation from opening URLs, as well as some of my mouse and keyboard capabilities. This is going to include clicking on elements and also inputting text to browser. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is open my URL. So this is what I want to open Spotify. I already have my URL up in my Google Chrome window. So I'll just go ahead and copy that URL and paste it into the parameters. Over here in the parameters, this is where you would find the ability to input that URL, whether you need to set a value or calculate a value. You're also able to go in and use the web browser changer, which allows you to use different web browsers to complete this action. For the purposes of this video, I am going to use Chrome Native. So now that I have my URL, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next objective, which is setting up a time trigger. So I kind of want to set up time triggers in between each of these, just because sometimes we know a web page can take a while to actually load, depending on the contents that's on that page. So I'm going to be setting my timers to be two seconds before and two seconds after. The two seconds before and two seconds after. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my next element, which would be the ability to use input to browser. So I'm going to be inputting my information as far as my login information to the browser. So let's go ahead and do that now. Since I know my value, I'm going to go ahead and enter my value. Now I'm going to actually choose my browser element. This is going to allow you to pick those elements. As you can see down here, I kind of already have the um, names generated just because I've already recreated this process before, but I'm going in and showing you guys how to actually do that on this video. So I'm going to pick new element. And where I actually want to input my information as far as being my username is where it says email address or username. As you can see, this red outline defines that we're able to use that specific selector as a element. So let's go ahead and hit Control X to select the highlighted element to go into our further actions. Now that I have this selected, I'm going to have this to be the Spotify login. And this is going to be the email input. I'm going to hit save. After that, I want to go ahead and move on to my next item. So after I've input it my username, I'm going to go in and input my password. So I'm going to use input to browser, choose my browser element, pick new element, and this will be the password window. Now that it's selected, I'm going to hit control X to save. Now I'm going to go and rename that element. This is going to be Spotify password. And I'm going to go ahead and save that now. For my value, I'm going to enter my password. After I've got my password entered, I'm then going to use my mouse keyboard activities. I'm then going to use my mouse activities and I'm going to use click on element. So this is going to actually click on that submit button. So let's go ahead and pick new element. And it's going to be the login. I'm going to name this 
submit. And I'm going to hit save. Now that we have that action complete, I want to go in and work on my next action. So once I'm actually logged in, what I want to do next is pick what station that I want to play. And of course, we're going to choose Les Brown. So I'm going to go ahead and mimic that action now. Doing it as I would normally if I were doing it by hand without a robotic process, I would go in and hit log in. And then I would go ahead and select what I would like to play. In this case, I am gonna want to play Les Brown. So once we get in there, I want to go ahead and start clicking on another element. But I am gonna wait a few seconds before actually clicking on that element. So this is what I want to do before clicking. Let's wait a few seconds. And I'm doing this because I did see it took some time for the actual Les Brown recently played album to actually show up. So I'm going to wait for about four seconds before clicking on this element. And now I'm going to go in and pick that element. And I'm gonna name this Les Brown Spotify album. And then I'm gonna hit save. So now that I have the whole context for Spotify completed, I now wanna go ahead and start working on my next objective, which would be the elements from LinkedIn. So we're gonna go back to our web browser activities and use open URL. In our open URL, we're gonna go ahead and get the URL here, which I have saved. We're gonna copy that URL and paste it back over here into Studio Pro. Then we're gonna go in and use our input to browser because we want to enter our login information. Enter my username or my email. I am gonna put a delay between key press, just one second. And then I'm gonna enter my password. So I'm gonna do input to browser. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose my element. Pick new element. And it will be here where it says email or phone. So I'm going to hit control X and I'm going to make this LinkedIn username. And I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go ahead and input to browser. And this is going to be for my password. So let's go ahead and pick that element now. Control X, and this is going to be my LinkedIn password. We're going to go ahead and hit save, and I'm going to enter my password now. And then I'm going to work on my next action, which would be clicking submit. So I'm going to grab the click on element activity, run that from the input to browser, select my browser element. And this will be my LinkedIn sign in. And I'm going to hit save. Now that we have those contents up, I'm going to go ahead and run the workflow. Then we have it inputting to browser and clicking on element and we are in.
All right, let's go ahead and run that workflow now. Let's go ahead and run that now. And as you can see, the bot runner pops up over here in the right hand corner and lets us know what's going on. So we have it opening a URL. So now inputting that information to browser and clicking log in. Once they have us as being logged in, it's going to wait a few seconds. So let's go ahead and run this workflow now. And as you can see in the right hand corner down here in the bottom, that is where our bot runner tells you what's going on. So we have it opening a URL here. Now we are inputting to browser, clicking on element, clicking on submit. We're waiting a few seconds before we click into the actual sound album. Going into my Les Brown. We're inputting to browser and we're hitting sign in. And now we are all signed in to our Spotify and our LinkedIn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me build this process today.